Hello everyone and welcome back to Click Theory 2.0. And it looks like we've come to the end of our journey. And I hope this series has given you some new insights on approaching rhythm and developing your sense of internal time. There is one more thing left to do and that is to improvise using the Click Theory system. So let's get started. Part of being a complete musician is having the ability to improvise appropriately given a musical context. And of course, when it comes to practicing improvisation, there are seemingly an infinite amount of exercises and variations that we can apply to the click theory system. But sometimes having too many options or too much choice can lead us to thinking, I don't know where to start, where should I begin? So like the metric modulation exercises that we covered earlier, you can define the challenge of the exercises by what musical material you bring into it. And it's no different with practicing improvisation. So even without the metronome settings, if you set limits or constraints by which you improvise, it can give you a little nudge in creative possibilities because you're working within a strict set of guidelines. So in the handout, which as always you can find in the description below, you'll see some exercises that I have listed that really are just a launching point for your own creative explorations when you're practicing improvisation with all of the different metronome settings. All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate some of the ideas that I've come up with using the various metronome settings in the Click Theory 2.0 system. And of course, I encourage you to come up with your own improvisation exercises and variations and think about how you could use the metronome creatively within the improvisation to launch into new musical territories. So first, we can improvise within the context of timekeeping. So like the exercises in the composite rhythms videos that we looked at earlier in the series, we can improvise using a melodic voice within the context of a repetitive ostinato. So we'll use the same straight eighth note groove as before, and now I'm gonna improvise using the bass drum. Of course, we can do the same thing with our Samba groove that we did earlier using the left hand as our melodic voice. Or if you don't want to fit in an ostinato, you can just improvise a groove completely in any style. So for instance, we could do a funk groove in the duple metronome settings and maybe swing in the triple metronome settings.
Beyond timekeeping, you can also work on soloing using the metronome settings. Now, one example out of many is practicing trading in a jazz context, and you can choose either 4, 8, 12, 16, or 32 measure intervals. Now, I'll demonstrate trading 8s with basic ternary metronome setting number 2, which is the metronome on the swung 8th note. Now, of course, you could play an ostinato in the feet, and that leaves your hands to improvise. And that's really good for, say, Latin grooves like songo or samba. Again, this is just the tip of the iceberg with all of the different possibilities and exercises that you can come up with using improvisation and all of the metronome settings. And the last exercise I'll leave you with is just a complete freeform improvisation using whatever material I come up with. So I'm just going to put on a metronome setting and see what happens.
Well, we've come to the end of the road for now, but it is merely just the beginning on what is possible using the click theory system. And I hope this series has given you some insight on approaching rhythm in a new way, on using the metronome creatively, of course, improving your time and subdivision. And ultimately, I hope I've given you the tools to make yourself more creative and expressive behind the instrument. So to check out what I'm up to, you can always find me online at michaeldangelomusic.com. And of course, last but certainly not least, thank you for watching, enjoy yourself, and have fun. I'll see you soon.